Welcome students and Texas Stars fans. Today we're going to talk about different types of energy in hockey. The Texas Stars are your local hockey team and science plays a huge role in how they succeed and win on the ice. With Ringo the Ringtail and hockey player Travis Morin, we are going to learn all about thermal, mechanical, electrical, sound, and light energies. Let's start with thermal energy. Since this is ice hockey, thermal energy and temperature plays a huge role in the game. Thermal energy, often referred to as heat energy, is energy possessed in an object or system due to movement of particles with the object or system. The warmer the object means the greater the thermal energy and the more the atoms within the object are moving. The colder the object, the less thermal energy and the fewer atoms within the object are moving. A great example of thermal energy at work within our hockey arena is the large amount of effort we put into keeping our ice frozen. Since we are in the very hot state of Texas, the air around the arena is very hot. That thermal energy is constantly being absorbed into our arena. If we're not careful, enough of the warm air will get in and melt our ice. So we keep our building very insulated and keep the air within the arena much colder aka much less thermal energy than typical hockey rinks. Mechanical energy is energy that is possessed by an object due to its motion or due to its position, like when a puck slides across the ice. Mechanical energy can be found all throughout the game of hockey. The most common example is how the players hit a puck. Time to have some fun. I'm going to shoot different objects of different masses to see how they react differently to force. First, a hockey puck. At a hockey game, you'll definitely have the chance to see a Zamboni. The Zamboni's primary function is to resurface the ice in between periods. When resurfacing the ice, the Zamboni sprays a layer of water to smooth out and cut up the ice where the players just played. This smooth surface decreases the resistance of the player's blades skating through the ice. Scientifically, that means there's less friction between the blade and the ice, so the skater can accelerate efficiently. At HEB Center, everything is powered by electricity, which is converted into light and sound energy. This transfer of energy makes it possible for the players to see and fans to hear everything that happens during the game. A hockey game can get really loud. Think about how much you scream and yell when the stars score a goal or when the buzzer sounds marking the end of a period. The sound energy being created at an average hockey game is the equivalent of 106 decibels. Similarly, it takes a ton of light to be able to watch the game. Based on the number of overhead lights at HEB Center, there's almost 2 million lumens, which is like having 150,000 candles lit in the building. Electricity is very important in hockey. It helps power the lights so we can see on the ice and help the fans watch us to cheer us on for victory. Without power, it'd be really hard to play. Show us what you got, bud. In science, energy is all around us. It may exist in thermal, mechanical, electrical, sound, light, or other various forms. In hockey, players use many aspects of energy to skate around the rink, score goals, and crash into one another. Without energy, hockey could not be watched or heard by fans. The ice wouldn't stay cold enough to use, and the players would simply be stuck if they couldn't move to skate. Remember, energy makes it possible for hockey players to play the game they love and for fans to enjoy watching the sport. Now let's answer some questions to see how much you really learned about energy in hockey. What are two examples of how mechanical energy is found in hockey? What is the purpose of the Zamboni? How does the angle of hitting a puck change its force and direction? Thanks for watching and learning about hockey with the Texas Stars. 
We can't wait to have you at a game really soon to see hockey and energy come together in real time. Go Stars!